In my presentation, I would like to tell you about our process of application design and development. I will explain you how and why we use DevOps tools, for instance, pipelines running automatic tests. In the end, I will tell you about changes in the way of writing and develop, developing product documentation. Let me start with a brief introduction. I would like to explain you at which point of technological development of the Business Central system we are now. The Spring 2019 version was the last one based on the Seaside and the last one written in CO language. Starting from Business Central Autumn 2019 release, the application is entirely written in AL language. Thus, Business Central 15 was also the first version without the Seaside environment. The version is also offered as Dynamics 365 Business Central 2019 Wave 2. For the sake of simplicity, we are referring to system versions. We use the application version numbering which is simple and independent from the trade name. For example, Dynamics NAV 2013 is version 7. Dynamics NAV 2016 is version 9. Business Central 2019 Wave 2 is version 15, etc. Autumn 2020, a new Business Central version was released and that's version 17. This all means that since the release of Business Central 15, we can deliver solely AL-based applications to our, to our customers. Until that time, all applications, including the standard Business Central system, were based on CO. Now, if we want to upgrade CO modification, we must redesign it and convert it to AL. For two years, we have been developing Polish Functionality Starter Pack. The Polish localization app that is available on AppSource. The application has been designed in AL as a Business Central extension. Using the same technology, we have developed Master Data Management System and Advanced Intercompany Apps that are also offered via AppSource. We continue our efforts at launching more extensions on AppSource, such as Intercompany Insights or Bonus, and we focus on developing custom extensions for our customers. To keep up with the latest Microsoft technology, we had to learn the new technology and, and change the build, development and release process. With the experiences we have gained while building the developing application, we, we have realized that we have to redesign the development process for applications dedicated to our customers. Therefore, we've started the implementation of the DevOps process. Practically, this involves the application, the implementation of new tools, procedures, training plans, etc. The new process also covers the development and the release of product documentation. I will discuss this later during this presentation. So, how the application build and development process looks like? First, in old Seaside environment. After we receive a request, we prepare a modification in Seaside envir environment and we test it. We delivered ready-made modifications as files that contain application objects, both the new and modified ones. Since applications objects are stored in database, we also maintain our application repositories in multiple databases. Although Seaside is a very reliable and secure environment and we like it very much, over 20 years of working with it is a lot of time, so it's time to change it. For several years, Microsoft has been developing a new application programming language for Business Central, which is called AL. The currently most popular tool in the world, Visual Studio Code, can be used as a base of local development environment. The AL compiler works like other compilers, 
used for most programming languages, that is, it compiles the program code written in text files. Thanks to this, we are able to easily maintain a code repository by using standard tools such as Git. In the local development environment, the base application itself is also needed just to perform unit tests. Thanks to Docker technology, every developer can run a container with the Business Central application on laptop. Microsoft has also been developing functions, so-called commandlets, for managing Business Central using the PowerShell scripting language. Thanks to this, we can now fully automate the process of building, testing and deploying of our applications. What does it look like in practice? In addition to the local environment, which is Visual Studio Code and Docker, we use the Azure DevOps platform. Using Azure DevOps components, we have built the process shown in the slide deck. First of all, we maintain the application code in the central Git repository. Then, using pipelines, we automatically build and test our application. If the tests show no errors, we create so-called artifacts. Actually, these are simply files that contain the compiled application. In the next step, we can deploy the compiled and tested application in AppSource or directly in the indicated Business Central instance. It can be a test environment at the customer's premises, for instance. The changes include not only the programming language and tools we use. The form and process of deployment are also changing. In the case of modifications in the CO language, we delivered the individual modifications as set of objects, the new and modified ones. The objects provided are the implementation of a specific modification. In the case of an application written in AL, we simply de deliver a subsequent version of, this, of uh, this application. We always deliver the entire application in the next version. In other words, by installing several years developed application in another instance of Business Central, we immediately obtain the required functionality. So, how will our application behave while upgrade? As I mentioned before, we've been developing AL applications for some time. We know that installation of the new version of the base application doesn't require objects merge. Unfortunately, as practice shows, other problems remain. First, the new base app version may contain the so-called breaking changes which means that the elements of the base application that our application uses are changed or even removed. This applies to both functional elements and technology. An example, changing files handling process and AL commands. So how to deal with these types of problems? Let's go back to the application development process and let's, let's focus on the CI pipeline. What does the CI pipeline do? It looks like this. Its main task is to build an application, compilation, installation uh, on the container, and run tests. As I mentioned, we use automated tests and try to cover as many real cases as possible. If we take a closer look at this step, we can see a piece of code like this. As a, re as a result of this code, all pipeline steps, including tests, are performed three times for three different versions of the base application. Current, which is up-to-date version. Next minor, which is another future release that will include a fix for the current version, so-called cumulative update, and Microsoft makes such releases available to partners in advance, and next major, which is the next ver version, for instance, 18, 19, that Microsoft also makes available earlier. What does this approach involve in practice? 
We simply know the problem in advance and we have time to fix it. Our development experience in developing applications distributed on AppSource includes test failures. We had to solve issues resulting from breaking changes in the base app, but we have not identified any fatal errors on running installations. We always knew about it beforehand. And last but not least, documentation. We treat application documentation as part of our products. Some time ago, Microsoft standardized the form and place for publication of documentation for all its products. Currently, this type of documentation is available without any restrictions on Docs Microsoft Com. We decided that we should do the same and we created the Docs IT Integral PL website. The documentation provided on our site is available without any restrictions. The technology for maintaining the content and building the website is exactly the same as that used by Microsoft. Using the same technology, we offer our clients the website at company name Docs Integro PL, where company name is the name of your company. Documentation published on this website will be available only to employees of the company and IT Integro. We can also build a documentation page on the web server and domain indicated by the customer. A brief summary. Since Autumn 2019 Wave 2 release, version 15, we can design and develop only AL apps. IT Integro implements the new application design, development, build and deployment process. We use proven industry tools, for instance, Azure DevOps, Visual Studio Code and Docker. Our product's documentation is available on Docs Integro PL. We can deliver custom application documentation on company name Docs Integro PL. Thank you very much for your attention.